Hey, what's up guys? It's Marf and in my last video I mentioned something called replay kit everywhere Which was and is a recording method that I will be using probably from now on unless I can find a solution um, It's a method that I'll be using to capture pretty much all of my mobile gameplay at least what I'm going to be using for my iPhone 8 plus if it's another device maybe I'll use something different my point is is that that's probably going to be my main gameplay recording device for the near future again if I can't find a solution with my Hackintosh so what I wanted to uh, show you guys today is the difference between a tweaked version of Apple screen recording software on iOS 11 and 12 which is replay kit everywhere and their regular um, capture software whatever you want to call it where you swipe up to the control center and you just hit record it doesn't really matter if you use a third-party app or whatnot it's barely configurable and you don't have much control over it but with a jailbreak which is what i have and replay kit everywhere which is the which is the tweak that i have you have some control over it and uh, i just kind of wanted to show you guys the screenshot of replay kit everywhere to let you guys know what it looks like you can do things like enable microphone commentary you can have it automatically saved to your camera roll and there's actually a really neat fix for anything that like fails to start recording now that can be useful if a third party app that you use that you might like doesn't start recording um, in terms of like it gives you an error this might be able to fix that so that's pretty neat however what i want to show you guys is the record quality option button thing in this uh menu there are a bunch of options so you have space saver balance size focus on quality extreme detailed and extreme detailed but only for ipad i'm using the extreme detailed preset because that is well the most detailed and um, as you can see at the bottom there's a key and it records at 15 megabytes per second now that is the bit rate now with apple screen recorder um it doesn't tell you the bit rate but i can pretty much guarantee that it's very very low probably only maybe i want to guess like two to three thousand most likely what it's using is a bit rate for streaming settings because when you stream you really don't want to have that high of a bit rate because that uh causes a lot of internet bandwidth usage so the lower the bit rate when streaming the better but for recording it doesn't matter unless you want to save space so for recording i will always use extreme detail now what i wanted to show you guys and what you're seeing on screen now is gameplay one is recorded with this tweak replicate everywhere and the other is recorded using the built-in capture software which like i said you go up to your control center and you just start recording and you can tell that there is a massive massive difference so number one is obviously the frame rate the frame rate on replay kit everywhere is 60 fps and it's buttery smooth and with the regular uh recording method it's 30 fps and it's hot garbage and on top of that and hopefully in this video you notice because youtube likes to compress some things but hopefully you can see that there's a massive quality bump with the replay kit everywhere footage uh compared to the regular recording method footage so why am I showing you this? Well, I just want to let you guys know that this tweak exists. So if you have an iOS 11 or 12 device, actually this also works on iOS 10 and 9, um, you have the option to enable this tweak if you want to jailbreak. And um, I highly recommend it, especially if you want to record gameplays and you don't have a computer. Um, this is a really handy uh, piece of kit. Um, now the only problem is microphone quality. Unfortunately, Apple software is so messed up that microphone audio levels and microphone quality just isn't uh fixed with this tweak and i don't think it'll ever be fixed honestly so when i'm doing if i ever have to record a live commentary i'll just record on my computer and try my best to sync up gameplay and audio all across my different recordings and all that mumbo jumbo and all that sort of stuff so I just wanted to let you guys know about this and I wanted to also show you guys how garbage this uh, built-in screen recorder is. I know you guys have heard me complain about it, but I just wanted to show you how much of a difference a simple tweak can make. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next video.